good afternoon, everyone. And uh, to all our distinguished guests, and to all the uh, friends of the Bonneville community, thank you and welcome. Uh, thank you for coming here. And I hope you take the opportunity to enjoy the facilities that we have available to you to include our visitor center. I'm delighted to join you today for the 75th anniversary event, and I'm very appreciative that you took the time to come here and visit with us. It's a great opportunity we have today to commemorate not only the dedication of Bonneville Dam, a national treasure in itself, but the creation of the Bonneville Power Association, whose vision has turned the dreams of one generation into the unlimited possibilities for succeeding ones. Let me take a few minutes to give you a bit of background on the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and our historic dam in particular. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that we serve is your nation's public engineering agency. We provide service to our nation for security, energy, and our economic needs, while also assisting in natural disaster support. We started back in 1775 and enjoy a rich history of completing some of the nation's most remarkable and diverse infrastructure, to include the Washington Monument that many of you are familiar with, Panama Canal, Cumberland Road, the NASA Space Centers, the bridges and roads to Yellowstone Park, and the main stem dams along the Columbia River, including the Bonneville Dam. Because I'm a relative newcomer to the area, I've recently spent time getting smart from Steve and other folks uh, but also learning about this engineering marvel and doing a little bit of homework and seeing what this dam represents and the role it's played in the lower Columbia over the last seven decades. The few, the few things that I discovered in this were that the dam itself was named after young Captain Benjamin Bonneville who explored the area a century before it was built itself. It became a reality much later because of the exemplary bipartisanship and collaborative efforts of Oregon Senator Charles McNary and Oregon's third district congressional representative, Charles Martin. So we thank them for coming together. And today, we, their legacy is that effort of collaboration that Steve spoke about. The Bonneville Dam also played an instrumental role in the country's defense in World War II, supplying power to the nearby aluminum plants producing 50,000 warplanes. And electricity from the dam also powered local shipyards that at one point turned out a, sh a Liberty ship every day. Bonneville was also one of the first dams in the region to incorporate, in the contemporary age, adult fish patches into its design using fish ladders, lifts, and collection and bypass systems. It's repaid the original investment that Steve mentioned of $82 million, many times over, and the large amount of jobs, of jobs that it brought has been remarkable to the region with the affordable power that it's produced for the people of the Northwest. The electricity generated by Bonneville Dam alone is sufficient to power 900,000 homes, I'm told. The navigation tonnage that passes through the Columbia pegged at about 161,000 tons in 1938. Now it exceeds over 10 million a year. Over the years, we've added a second powerhouse, a second navigation lock, and rehab both original structures to accommodate increasing regional demands and maintain the integrity of the project. We've made many structural modifications to the dam to increase upstream and downstream fish passage. And working with our federal, state, and tribal partners, we closely monitor fish and wildlife needs and make the improvements to the dam of the river and contribute to our most robust fish runs. Bonneville is one of 14 federal dams on the river whose op operations are collectively managed as a single, unified system by the Corps and the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation and the Bonneville Power Association. This is important because one of the lessons we've learned in the past 75 years is that stewardship of this national asset and others like it are far more effective when done in collaboration with others who have genuine stake in the viability of the river. So we thank all those partners that have participated in that. And no matter what the challenges ahead, we will be better prepared to meet them collectively than separately. So to our sister agency, the BPA, who traces this beginning to the same historical milestone as this dam, I can only echo the congratulatory message that our president FDR here coined so many years ago to mark the importance of this occasion. More power to you, Steve. 